hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem 2y to the power of 3 equals 2 and we are to find the three solutions right so from here we have um okay we have y to the power of 3 equals 2 over 2 because we have to divide both sides by 3 by 2 now y to the power of 3 is equal to 1 and if we like we can equally make this to have power of 3 remember that 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 is the same thing as 1 to the power of 3 right and this is equally equal to 1 so in place of 1 we can write 1 to the power of 3 now the next thing is bringing this to the left hand side since we are looking for the three solutions so y to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 equals 0 and then from here can you recall this standard a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so if we can recall this we're going to apply this to what we have over here so that in place of a minus b i have one minus y minus one then in the second we're going to have y squared plus a b will be one multiplied by by y right then i have um plus b squared and that will be one squared close this and equate this to zero to continue with this we have y minus one into y squared then one times y that will give us y plus one times okay one squared will give one and this is equal to zero now we have two terms to multiply to give us zero so it is either y minus one is equal to zero or y squared plus y plus one is equal to zero so we consider this a term and we consider the whole of this a term just like you say a multiplied by b equals zero so our a now is y minus one and if we put y minus one here it is either the y minus 1 is equal to 0, so that 0 times b is 0. Okay, this is what I'm saying. It is either 0 multiplied by b is equal to 0, or a multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. And, and even if both of them are equal to 0, it will still give 0, right? Good. So from here, I'm going to equate this to 0 y minus 1 is equal to 0 or y squared plus y plus 1 equal to 0 so that from here I'm going to work with this linear equation this is called a linear equation because the highest power of the unknown is 1 and this is quadratic equation because of the power of 2 and from here we will have two solutions and from here we shall have one solution so y from here is equal to 0 plus 1 meaning that y is equal to 1 this is the first solution to the equation and then to get the other value of y i'm going to work from here i'm going to work on what we have over here so that we have y squared plus y plus 1 equals 0. And then what do I do? This means that, uh, okay, let's use formula to deal with this. Now, the general quadratic equation is um, quadratic equation formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is all over 2a, right? But then, remember, now that the unknown is y, so in place of x, you're going to write y.
so that your y will now be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is a. What do I do? According to this quadratic equation, y here will be equal to, in place of uh, minus b, I will have minus 1. And this is because the coefficient of y, of y is our b, and that is plus 1. This negative will appear here. Okay, so we have plus or minus, and we have b squared, which will now be 1 squared minus 4 times a. a is the coefficient of y squared, and that is 1. Then multiply by c. c is the coefficient of, of okay, c is a constant, right? And that is um, 1. So I multiply this by 1 as well. And the whole of this is over 2 times 1, because a is 1. Now I'm going to start from here, so that y, okay, so from here y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared will give 1, minus 4 times 1 times 1 will give us 4, and the whole of this is over 2 times 1, which is 2. Now to continue, our y will be equal to minus 1. Okay, I write minus 1 over there, and then plus or minus square root of negative 3, because 1 minus 4 is 3. This is all over 2. Now remember, we can press calculator for square root of negative 3. So our y here is going to be minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 multiplied by square root of negative 1. What I have done is to pick out the the negative right so the whole of this will be over 2 now from here I'm going to continue so that y will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have square root of 3 then square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we have i and the whole of this is over 2 now I want to arrange this in another way so y now is equal to minus 1 plus or minus, we have i square root of 3. This is all over 2. Now this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's get the three solutions together. So y1 is equal to 1. That is our first solution and the only real solution, right? Then our y2 will be equal to minus 1 plus i square root of 3 over 2. This is a I am y2. Then y3 is from here as well. And that will be minus 1 minus i square root of 3 over 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.